Okay, so I was um, experimenting around with uh, this spooky device, trying to uh, determine what's the best way to get 100% uh, positive offset and use like both channels, both channels synchronized with the 11th harmonic that they recommend. Now you can't quite get, well let me explain what's going to happen. First, you're just using the red wires the red wires, one from each output, and like I have the black wire taped off so I don't short nothing out. And output one, coming off of output one, the top one, this one, is actually going to be your positive. Now, how I set this up, I'll show you in the spooky software. Um, I'm just using uh, 50 hertz calibrate, you know, a simple wave and I just put out one at a hundred percent out two didn't just said zero uh, square wave now when I use the double side bands and you know you take the other uh, you know they got the other uh, choices down there double side bands single side bands I get stuff I'm like I don't know what the hell it is so I'm looking at the scope and I'm like I don't understand it um but just using a simple square wave with the 11th harmonic, that should be cool. So you just say, check off, add F1 to F2. And you'll, I'll show you what the pattern looks like. This, it's probably fine. Um, follow out one. Follow out one. Square wave. 100% positive offset on out one. Out to, I don't show anything, but I'm saying follow out one. It's the 11th harmonic again. Just checked off. Add F1 to F2. So you're coordinating the two channels. And then click it on. And away we go. Okay, so you can see here's the waveform, and this line right here is a zero line. So what's going on is you can see it up here. You know, it's almost off screen because I have it. You know, I could set it lower, but it's more clear this way. So it's at 50 hertz. That's the 50 hertz right there. It's doing the 11th harmonic, so it's going up and down, up and down. So it's going negative a little bit, but it's basically at zero. Then it doubles up the, the volts uh, when you have both outputs. Then it goes up past that, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So basically, if this was like without the 11th harmonic, it would be zero, 10 volts, zero, 10 volts, or whatever I have this set on, zero, and so forth. But what's going on is the 11th harmonic at the 0 volts for the 50 hertz, it's going minus 5, up 5, minus 5, up 5. And this is actually the best way because I was trying to get it so you, you know, but I'd rather have it do it like this, I'm thinking. It's probably better. And then when it goes up to 10 volts on the 50 hertz, it's going to 5 to 15, 5, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15. It's got a harmonic mixed in there so hopefully that's clear so that's uh let me look you know if i'll just sit back you can see what the wave looks like so and I, hopefully this is coming out okay on the camera so basically this is your main wave right here this so it's going from zero to ten volts zero to ten volts then here's your uh, 11th harmonic in within the zero so it is dipping negative but it's not much but it's basically all around zero and then when it goes to 10 volts it's going up from uh, 5 to 15 and right on to 10 so again you know these are the settings uh, you know this doesn't matter to spike and well that only matters when you're doing using this and I was experimenting around with that. I really, I, I can't tell on the scope what it's doing, but I'm thinking this is 
probably your best all-around setting for uh, using the 11th harmonic if you want to use the 100% positive offset. You know, it's dipping negative a little bit, like only on a harmonic when it's at zero. So, you know, right here. So that would be zero. Hopefully this is coming out clear. Maybe I need to turn this down a little bit or something. Maybe that's a little more clear. I don't know. But that would be the zero line. That would be the 10 volt line. And then up here, you know, it's doing its harmonic across the 10 volt line. Then when it gets down to the zero line, it's doing a harmonic. So it dips, you know, minus 5, up 5, minus 5, and, you know, minus 5 to zero, up 5, that type of deal. And I don't know if I can make it bigger. You know, it's not that clear when I'm doing it that way, but it's actually going from minus 5 to 0 to plus 5 in the harmonic across the, you know, I'm using 50 hertz, just as an example. So the main wave is right here, and right there, and right here. And then these are all the little harmonics going across the 0. It dips negative a little bit, but that's probably the best thing because it's, you know, when you're setting it like this, I think you're really shaking the hell, you know, if that's the mortal oscillatory rate of whatever bug it is you're trying to get, you're pretty much all the way positive. It's not really dipping negative too much, but when it's at zero, basically it's, it's uh, really doing a harmonic at zero, basically. That's the only way it's dipping negative. Uh, so... I th I'm thinking that's probably your best setting. Uh, from what I could, you know, if, if you want to just use 100% positive offset. So basically, it's real simple. Just you, I mean, you can actually set it a couple different ways, but the simplest way is just add F1 to F2 down here, follow out one, and these are irrelevant, you know, checked off. I mean, they're checked off, it doesn't matter, they're irrelevant. It only has to do with this spike plus sync. And you just put 100% on out 1 because it's following out 2, right? I mean, out one, out 2 is following out 1, right? You just put 100% there. And if you use other ways, if you do other ways, it moves the whole thing up. And you're not really getting down to like the 0 volts on the main part of the wave. So I'm thinking this is probably the best deal. You can see that fully. This is the main part. See, I don't think the camera's picking it up as good as it should. But maybe that's clearer. There's your main wave right here. That's the 50 hertz. That's the 50 hertz. You so saw this is one cycle, right? That's one cycle, 50 hertz. And then you got the 11 harmonic, so it's, you know, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's what's going on. All those the little dots above and below, this more solid line. I don't know if the camera's picking it up really perfect, though. You know, maybe it looks a little more clear like that. You can see these are dots. You can see that's more of a solid line. So anyway, that seems to be it's a real simple, simple uh, way to set it up. And you know, this is only for you know you're not quite getting true positive offset all the way, quite, but pretty damn close. That's the zero line. So like when it's doing the eleventh harmonic, when it's doing eleventh harmonic at the zero volts. It, the harmonic is dipping uh, to uh, minus five volts, but by and large, it's not. You know, overall, it's it's pretty much all positive offset. But I'm thinking is that's better because you wanted to have it this way. You want it to go down as mainly zero volts in the main wave. You don't want to bring this whole thing up like this is five volts here and the other thing's 15 volts. You want it to go mainly down to zero, and you want it to do the harmonic covering around zero. So anyway, um, kind of getting into this almost like a game, um, you know, 
might be uh, it might be like a gamer with rife. You might want to be thinking of it that way. You know, I mean, they got all these popular gamers on YouTube, and um, you know, they're I don't know what they're doing actually. And actually, this type of game was actually more useful because. Um, you know, hopefully, actually, this could maybe unlock our DNA potential, knock out all the bad microbes, and maybe even improve our health. It's all theoretically, well, it's all theoretical, but uh, there is a lot of antidotal evidence behind it, and uh, actually probably a lot stronger than antidotal evidence. And uh, I'm surprised a lot more people aren't getting into this as a game versus some of the other things out there, because uh, this can actually provide people with a lot more usefulness uh, so but someday you know I'm on the forefront here so uh, we might as well be looking at it this way as uh, gaming with rife technology how's that spooky remote and uh, with the spooky 2 program written by John White you can see it right up there so uh, it's a great program it's a great program anyway over and out